This is going to be a video on my AEG-20 Ibanez. You can see I've got my guitar, or as the cool people call it, their axe. I've got my axe on my workbench, otherwise known as my bed. That's where I do my work. And so I'm going to tell you about my axe. If the video helps you out, thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, leave a comment, click on my affiliate links, donate with my uh, info in the video description. So here we go, my story about my Ibanez axe. Here we go. I'm going to play the sixth string all the way through. Then I'm going to go the fifth, the fourth, the third. Open. One, two, seven. Twelve. You're going to go to the fifth. Oh, let's do fifth open. One. Ten. Twelve. Fourteen. Let's go to the fourth. Open. Here at seven. Eight, nine, ten, twelve, fourteen, fourteen. Okay, so we've got a problem on the fourteen and the nine. We're going to go on the third string open. Two, that's nine. 10. It's ringing on 10 over there. It was ringing on 9 on the string before. We're on 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Let's go to the second string open. First string open. No. Third string, I mean third fret. It was ringing a second ago. Let's try the fourth fret again. Fifth, six, se seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Let's go back over to nine. We're going to go stay in the three, five, seven. Let's go in the nine. We'll go six, five, Four, three, two. Let's go on the tenth. One. Let's go on the fourteenth. So our big problem is the ninth. Let's go nine and ten. Oh, I was wondering why that wasn't there, because that was the seventh. Let's go to the nine and ten. Fourth string nine. So I take it over to the guitar store. I'm not going to say which name uh, in Santa Monica, but I take it over there. And I have them evaluate it, and the guy says, okay, the, uh, the frets are not level. He put the tool on there, the little triangular thing, and he said, the frets are not level. You put it between the one and the three, and it rocks all over the place. The two is too high. And he, he moved it around, and that problem was all over the fretboard. He said, so it's got to be re-leveled. It really needs to be refretted. There's not a lot of fret left. And he doesn't know me, I don't know him, but I'm thinking, how can there not be a lot of fret left? This guitar is only about six years old, and I've probably played it equivalent of maybe ten hours. So how is there not fret left? And then I took out my digital calipers, my uh, micrometer, and, uh, yeah, the calipers, and I measured it, and... All of the frets are, some of them are 0.045, some of them are 0.038, but that's how the thing came new. There's very little fret wear. There's some indents and some, uh, some wearing, but 
the indents and the wearing is nowhere near where the problem is, which means that if the indents and the uh, wearing is not where it's ringing, that's not the problem. And if it's rocking all over the place between one, two, and three, and there's no fret buzz on one, two, and three, that's not the problem either. And maybe it needs a leveling. And he said, if you do the leveling, you're going to need frets because there's not a lot of fret left. So I said, what are we talking for this? And he said, well, that's a personal choice then because we're talking 175. And I said, you know, the guitar is not even worth that. It's probably worth 250, maybe 300. And he says, yeah, it's a personal choice. Now, I don't question people like I'm going to right now, but I understand if you're a doctor, you get paid for your training. If you have a specialty like a luthier, you get paid for your training. Um, to do a, I, and I'm no expert, but he quoted 175. So let's assume, there's no way it's gonna take this guy three hours or whatever they say on the internet. It's not gonna take three hours. A guy like that, he couldn't make a living if it was gonna take him three hours to do this. It's probably gonna take him about an hour, maybe a little bit longer, to yank out all the frets on this thing really fast, sand this, do it, whatever he needs to do, throw, pop some frets in there, get the crowning files, smooth it all up. So he is charging $175 an hour. An hour. And I don't know how that store works. Usually a luthier rents the, the counter over there. They rent it and then whatever money they bring in, maybe they keep 100% or they split off a share. So. My thought is, yeah, I can't do this myself, so I'm kind of stuck. I either pay him the 175 or I throw the guitar out or I just use it as a junk guitar and go out and buy another one. Or uh, maybe I buy the tools and the frets and see if I can do this job myself and train myself, which I've done in other things before. But it just shows how how sad this whole thing is. And yeah, it's sad. If you got a $5,000 guitar, I understand you want to pay somebody that money to do the fret job. But this guy knows the guitar is not worth that money. And he knows that it's not going to take him a lot of time to do. And I'm a kind of businessman. I don't, well, I was going to say I don't give my time for free. I fix computers for people free all the time. I fix things. I do mechanical work. I do, uh, um, home repair work, I do removing viruses. I do a lot of work for people and I just do it because I can help them. And I've got enough money in my life. Most of us have enough money. If you're charging $175 to fret this thing, you have too much money in your life and you don't need that. And if I would have been a guy like him, I would have said, you know, it's $175 to do the refretting, but there's going to be a time when work slows down. Maybe it will be tonight. Maybe it will be tomorrow. Maybe it will be in a month. Leave the guitar here. I'll fit it in on the side when I can. And I'll trade you 75 bucks or 100 bucks. And I would have said, that's totally cool. Leave the guitar here whenever you can squeeze it in. He would have been, made, if, it, if it took him an hour, he would have made $100 in an hour. A lot of people don't even make anywhere near $100 an hour. Even people with four-year college degrees are not pulling that in. And that would have been the sign of a mensch, a quality man, a good, decent human being. And it's not his job. He doesn't have to do things for free. He doesn't have to give his time for free. Come on, $175 for labor on a guitar that's a piece of junk that's going to take him an hour, maybe 45 minutes, probably not even that long. He can probably pop this out in, a few, in 30 minutes or he wouldn't even be in that profession. So pretty disappointing, very disappointing. He had to be ashamed of himself, and I'm going to say it right now. Shame on you, Mr. Luthier, trying to take advantage of people. Okay, I don't want any attitude from everybody. I want thumbs up, like, share, leave that awesome comment, and uh, slam that notification bell or whatever these other YouTuber whippersnappers say. So I'm thinking about this, and I'm going, well, he said the thing doesn't have enough fret, but as I told you, I measured it. There's fret all over the place. He's fret wrong. Uh, it doesn't definitely have a lot of fret, but that's how the guitar came. So that's not the issue. 
Yes, it's not level, but like I said, we're gonna do one, two, three. Okay, while we're here, it's gonna ring a little. Oops. That's on the one string. I heard some ringing. Okay, so it has nothing to do with there's not, there is not enough fret. That was not true. It has nothing to do with the frets are not even because that is not the issue here. There might be some frets over towards the nine that are not even, but I'm thinking, do I want to go out and spend $16 on a crown file or whatever the heck it is? Do I want to go out and buy or $16 on frets already uh, cut for me? And do I want to go out and buy a file and do I want to buy that little tool to pull these things out? Do I want to mess with that? Do I want to make a video thinking that 9 billion people are going to watch it and I'm going to become rich and then two people watch it and then YouTube says, no, nobody's going to watch it because you're a bad video creator. I don't know. But then my thought is, if this problem, yeah, it's over at the 9 fret. Here, right here. Oh, it didn't happen that time. That's because I'm confused on this guitar. That was the 7 fret. And my thought is, I can't really tell when I'm looking at a bow. Oh, he also said the action was way too high. The action's not great, but the action's pretty darn low at the one and two. The action's very high at the top, but it's not ringing at the top. It's not ringing. And then as I'm looking at the neck, I'm thinking, yeah, it's really hard to tell if it's a back bow or not. Maybe this, the, the relief is a little off. Maybe I could just whip out my tool and insert it into the hole of that um, uh, relief nut that relief screw. Maybe I can turn my screw and see if I can get rid of this buzz over here. Here, right here. And that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to pop the thing into the relief hole and I'm going to change the, uh, the truss rod adjustment a little bit and I'm going to see if it goes away because I'm not spending $175. I'll take this guitar and make a video of me throwing it against the wall before I put $175 in that guy's pocket. I'll go out and buy another one of these guitars like this for $250 and it will be brand new. Maybe I have the same problem, but it won't be ringing. Shame on that luthier. These people that try to rip you off, these plumbers that come into your house and say, $85 just to walk in the door and then I'm gonna charge you $300 to put on a toilet or $400 to put on a sink because I gotta whip out my caulk gun and, and put it all around your, uh, your excussion tube. Excussion tube? A, sta a, a station tube? I think it's a station. A station tube? A station tube? I don't remember the name. Uh, just leave your caulk gun away from my uh, sink. So, I guess the video is a little bit about, I don't really think it needs a fret job. Uh, I think this guy was uh, yanking my string over there, so. What I'm going to do, it sounds okay. Um, maybe my nut is not adjusted. Maybe I need to file my nut on the left side or the right side to get it a little better. Uh, maybe the uh, bridge is messed up. I don't know. I'm not a luthier. I don't do this stuff. It's not how I was trained. So I'm going to go get out my uh, tool tomorrow and I'll finish the video off. I'm gonna adjust this thing and see if I can uh, get rid of that fret buzz on the fourth string, ninth fret. And maybe I can save $175. If I was you, which I'm not, you really have to evaluate. A lot of us just go out and buy cheapy guitars and we play them and when they fall apart, you go out and you buy another one. A lot of other people go out and spend $5,000, $10,000, $8,000, uh, six, seven, eight hundred dollars on a guitar and you have to take it to somebody unless you know how to do this stuff yourself. So for me, I'd rather buy the cheapy guitar, enjoy it when it falls apart. And that's the end of the video right now. Let me go uh, come back tomorrow. I'll uh, put my thing in the truss rod hole down in here and I'll turn it. I don't know if I have to turn it left or right. 
But if it doesn't work right, then I'll turn it left and try to get rid of that ring, and I'll let you know if I saved $175, just so that you know I'm not lying here. Ninth fret, fourth string. I think it was also on the 10th. Right there. It was on the 14th, I know that. Well, I should get on the 14th. That doesn't sound too good. All right, I'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Don't get angry at me for all the cool stuff I said that you wish you had the guts to say on a video, but instead, you're whipping out your wallet and you're shelling out that $175 for a guitar that you don't know how to play, just like I don't know how to play. Hey, people, I'm back. I didn't want to wait until tomorrow. I just want to see, can this be done? Okay, first I want to say, this is Los Angeles. Rent is expensive here. Cost of living is expensive here. Obviously, if you have a decent job, you're making a good living. Uh, you pay, your, your income is going to be good. People are going to pay you for what you're doing, what you're worth. I'm sure, I could be wrong, but I would guess if you go to some hick hillbilly uh, um, cowboy uh, uneducated town in Texas or Tennessee, a setup's probably going to cost you 30 bucks, 35 dollars, 50 bucks, because the people only make about 100 dollars a year in salary. So you can't really charge a lot. Out here, believe me, if I was that luthier, and somebody like me walked in and said, can you fix this thing? I would not have said 175. I would have said, I'll do it for 100. Set up 75. Set up for 75 in Los Angeles. It's ridiculous. $75 for a setup. I know, training time, but 75 bucks, come on. Most setups don't take them more than about 10, 15 minutes. If they're good, maybe half an hour at the most. Unless there's a lot of work. $75, these people are making 150 bucks an hour. So I got the tool, I stuck my tool in the, uh, in the hole where the truss rod is. I stuck my uh, rod, rod tool in there. And I'm gonna, I don't even know, I have no idea. Let me tune this thing up. I turned it to the left, because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I turned it to the left and I went, well, there's just a lot of slop in here. It's barely, it's turning to the left with no tension at all. So I started turning to the right. And I know they say, loosen the strings. I didn't loosen the strings. Who's got time for that? Uh, I, tuned, I made sure it was tuned up and the strings didn't get any tighter. I tuned, turned the, the rod to the right. You're supposed to turn it maybe a quarter turn and wait for a day, wait for a couple hours for everything to settle in. I just turned it like half a turn, I don't know. Um, are we tuned up? E, A, A. And so if this didn't work, then uh, it may work for you, it might not. I don't mind paying people for what what they're worth, but I certainly wouldn't put. Ooh, that rang. I don't like the sound of that. But this thing's been ringing for a long time, for years. So did I get rid of the ninth fret buzz? I don't know. Let's play some chords first. It sounds really nice. It sounds better than it did before. Oh. Maybe I should fret it properly. We're ringing a little bit on the second string. We're ringing a little bit on the first string. Let's go over to the ninth fret, fourth string. Are we still ringing? When I press hard, when I really press into it, it's got that little tingy sound. get it on the tenth fret. So the truss rod thing kind of worked and kind of didn't. Let's go to the fourteenth. I've got number ten strings on here. I think if I put on number elevens like 
I used to have. I'd probably avoid most of the ringing problem, but it would be a little bit harder to play on this thing. And I'm able to do all the hammer-ons. What is it, hammer-ons and offs? I don't know that lingo for all you cool guitar uh, whippersnapper players, but I can do this so I'm a pro when I'm able to show people, check this out. Oh, okay, so it's ringing a little. Yeah, I can play. Listen to me. Woo! So, what this video is all about is if you have a guitar that's really not a lot of sentimental value to you and they're trying to charge you $175 to do a setup on something that is worth almost that same amount walk out of the door and uh, let that guy know no can do Mr. Rip Off My Life Luthier taking advantage of me because I don't know how to do that even a mechanic an auto mechanic doesn't do that to you they do it but not like that imagine if an auto mechanic said he was going to charge you $175 to do an oil change that would take him 30 minutes well, you would say, no can do Mr. Luthier rip off. Ooh, now we have a little ringing on the third fret. Oh, okay, so I'm pressing a little better. This thing might just need uh, some number five, uh, 11 strings. But as a guitar, well, it's not a violin. Oh, it's my axe. I'll keep it. So my suggestion to you is before you waste all that money letting some ripoff artist uh, do something like that to you, address your rod. See if you can uh, get your rod going. Maybe uh, check your nut. Get in the saddle a little bit. Make sure your saddle is adjusted. Make sure you try on some different strings. Uh, get out your little Thule thing and turn that, uh, that trussy rod screw in there. And let's go to the ninth again. I'm going to press hard this time. The guitar is a piece of garbage. I'll just throw it in the trash. Never pay $175 for a fret job on a cheap guitar. No, no, no. And with that, I want to stand up and say thanks for watching.